everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Den. I would just like to say welcome if you're new here and if you are a returning viewer, then thanks for coming back. I have a little bit of a, a thrift store haul, not just a couple pieces. Um, went to Sussex today and found the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, we hadn't been in that one before, and it's just a small one. So um, we were we're still looking for a chair. I want I need a chair. I want to fix up a chair, but uh, always am on the lookout for pieces that I can do something with. And I'm going to show you what I got. That is the fav my favorite thing that I found. So I sold Tupperware. And we're talking in the 1970s. I used to sell Tupperware. And I've been looking for one of these. And I've probably been looking for one for the last 20 or so years. And they're a really good item. So people don't necessarily get rid of them. So it is Tupperware. It's the Tupperware brand. And it is the divided serving tray. Now, I had one of these a gazillion years ago, and I have no idea what happened to it. It's been lost in one of the many moves over the years. And this has the lid, and it fits well. There's no cracks. This is actually in pretty good shape, and they wanted $4 for it. So you can see there, it was $4, and I thought that $4 was a little bit pricey for a plastic item, you know, in a thrift store, but I have been looking for one for such a long, long time, and this is in good shape. It's not banged up. There's not a lot of marks. There's no cuts into it or anything. The lid fits nice and tight. It still has that little freshness pop when you press down on the center of it. And yeah, I love it. And one of the things that I like this for is because you can put your dip in the middle. You can put a nice array of vegetables around the outside of this and you can take it where you're going. And when you get wherever you're going to put this out, you can put a, a nice bed of ice in the bottom of this, in the lid. And then this fits right down inside here. So you've even got ice underneath. So if it's outside in the summertime, it'll keep fresh longer. And yeah, so for $4, this is a really, really good deal for me. So I was really happy to get that. And the other pieces I, I didn't need. But when I saw them, I thought they would come in handy. So I was looking for a bowl or something to put on my countertop here for fresh fruit. And it's not exactly what I was looking for, but this is stainless steel and it's, it's pretty, it's in good shape. There's no rust, there's no, it's in really good shape. I mean, it's stainless steel. It was $3 and it's not bent. A lot of times you find things like this and they'll have a dent in them or something like that. So this is going to look nice on my countertop and I, I'll, I have a tendency to put a napkin or a dishcloth or something in the bottom of it and let it hang over the edges and then put stuff in and I think it'll be really great for that. So, and it was $3. And then I got three little glass pieces. Now I have never heard of Kapok, Kapok, Tree Inns Corporation, never heard of it. Um, so this says Capuc Tree Inns in Meridia Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Daytona Beach, wherever. So all down in the Florida area. And it is, it's kind of a hurricane lamp. So it has this glass type of bit on the bottom here. Then it it's got this really nice little shape. But this is open on the inside to the very bottom. And I was, and then it has this hurricane glass shape. Now I think this is on the top. This writing is on the top of here. It's the type of stuff that comes off if it goes in a, a dishwasher 
you know, multiple times. And But I think I can scrape this off and I want to do this into a trash to treasure. So this was a dollar, but then I found these two and they're from the same um, Capic Inns Corporation, Capic Tree Inns or whatever that says. And it only has the little black bit here that I think will come off. I think that'll come off very easy, like it's surface paint. So, but they're tiny, little bit smaller than the first one that I found, but identical in shape. So I've got the three of them. So the two smaller ones I found, they were 50 cents each, and then the larger one is a dollar. And I will be doing a trash to treasure with these. So it wasn't very much of a haul, and I probably won't get to the Trash to Treasure until I come back here in the spring. And yeah, so we're packing up and heading home in a couple of days from here, and um, we won't be back out till spring. And then I think after that, it probably shouldn't be too long until I'm here for good. So I'm looking forward to doing that Trash to Treasure then. In the meantime, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, um, share, all those wonderful things, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye for now.